Big thank you to Platin Audio for sponsoring this video. More on them later. Hey everybody, Josh here. So this is my iPhone 14 Pro. I've been using it for about a month now. And today I'm gonna to show you what apps I use, what widgets I use, and basically how I go about my life using my iPhone. I always find that it's interesting to see how other people use their iPhones because there's always a new app or a new widget that I don't know about. I love learning about that stuff. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now this home screen, I say, is something that I'm really proud of. I spent some time making it look pretty and I think it's got a nice flow to it. I'm really proud of it. So up top, we have the medium size calendar widget. It also cycles between some different memories. Remember this day two years ago when you had this meal? Remember this day when you took a picture of your speedometer because you were proud of the miles per gallon that you were getting? 28 miles per gallon, that, that's pretty good. And then the third widget is Google Maps. Down here we have the small size calendar widget. And then this clock widget, I haven't seen a lot of people using it. This one is more of a transparent one and I think it works nicely with the whole theme that I have going on here. I also have the black version here if I have people who are traveling. In Taiwan right now, I am Taiwanese if you guys didn't know, it is 8, 10 a.m the next day. As far as the apps go, I have photos, camera, Google Maps, because if you use Apple Maps, I think you're actually psycho, and then Notion, which is basically my entire life. I keep track of all my YouTube projects here, all of my templates. I also keep track of my finances here and all of my travels coming up, so event planning. But yeah, I love Notion, it's a great app. And then YouTube Studio is where I either go to feel super depressed or super happy. If you're a content creator, you'll know what I mean. You probably spend hours and many, many times throughout the day opening that app because it shows you your revenue, your view count, and it'll give you like indicators like, oh, your views this month are trending down. It can either be really encouraging if you're seeing a lot of green or really discouraging if you're seeing a lot of red. So leave a like and leave a comment for the algorithm and please subscribe. And then over here is Spark, my email client. So who doesn't love emails, you know? I just wish I could spend my entire day going through emails, said no one ever. And then on my home row, I have messages, Spotify, because we love music. I've been listening to um, FKJ lately. And then Safari and Facebook Messenger. Now this one, I get a lot of questions about this one. Why don't you just use Apple Messages? Why do you have Facebook Messenger? Well, some of my friends have Android phones and as we know, green bubbles are the devil. Just kidding. I, I think Facebook Messenger is a good middle ground for both parties, right? It allows you to add people to group chats because if you've ever had an Android user in your group chat on Apple Messages and you try to add someone else to that group chat, you can't do it. And so you make a new group chat with a bunch of people and then someone else wants to join and you make another one. It's better at sending media and receiving media. So yeah, that is why I have Facebook Messenger on my home row. Let's move on. Gotta give it a quick wipe. All right, now moving on to the second page, you will immediately notice the Lightroom widget, but there's more. There's also the Reddit widget and the Bible widget. So I call this stack the content stack. So here's a fun photo of a trail. And here's the Milky Way. It's actually a really cool photo. And then the Reddit widget will feed me more relevant content. And then we have the Bible widget. So I am a believer and today's verse is 1 Corinthians 13, 6. And it says, love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth bit of a mysterious one there. Okay, some fun apps on here. Portal is like a white noise generator, but not really because they have some really high quality sounds. This one is Summer Thunderstorm. It even lets you set a timer, so you need to get something done or do some heads down work. This is a great app to do that with. I actually find that this works really well when you have a pair of noise canceling earbuds or headphones. It really just puts you in the zone and transports you into this world. And next to that is an app called Letterboxd, but without the E, so it's Letterboxd. So this is like a social app for 
people who like movies. And let's say I go to Top Gun Maverick. You can see the average rating, which is a 4.1 out of 5. You can see which of your friends have watched it and all 165,000 reviews. But what I like about this app is the diary features. So if you've ever had a friend come up to you and ask for like movie recommendations or what movies you've seen recently, this app basically lets you keep track of which movies you've watched, when you watched it, and the rating you've given it. So according to this app, um, Dune, I rated a four out of five. Prisoners was a good one too. Um, yeah, and I actually made a list here of films that will blow your mind. So if you're looking for a fun movie, I would suggest all of these. I'll leave that list down below. Now, while you're watching these movies, you can't forget about sound and your sound system. So today's sponsor is Platin Audio. They've actually sent me a wireless surround sound system for me to check out called the Monaco 5.1.2. Now, what's cool with this system is that it is a 5.1.2 system, which means that sounds come from above you with the front satellite speakers with up firing drivers. So in movies like Top Gun Maverick, you can literally hear the jets flying over you, which is really, really immersive. The dialogue sounds rich and clear and the low profile subwoofer allows me to place it right underneath my couch for maximum immersion and just really feeling the rumble of the jets underneath you. Of course, this system is wireless, which means that setup is quick and hassle-free. These speakers are also WISA certified, so they're held to incredibly high standard. These speakers have really transformed the experience in my living room, not to mention it also looks pretty nice. So if you wanna learn more, I'll have links down below. All right, back to the video. All right, so moving along, we have Strong, my workout companion app, because health, is wealth and working out is important. So if you don't work out, go to the gym, go for a walk, go for a bike ride. This app allows me to keep track of my sets and my reps for those of you that lift and then lets me make presets for exercises. So this is my upper body A and then I have an upper body B and a lower body A and B. So yeah, I really like this app. Next up is Google Photos where I back up all my photos and then some finance apps and some smart home apps. There's of course Apple Home, where I control all of my lights and my curtains and set up automations because I'm lazy and I want the lights to turn on when I get home and turn off automatically when I'm not home. Did I talk about 1Password, my password manager? Well, now I have. On the next page, we have uh, the Twitch widget. And then this is pretty much what I call the whatever page. It's just whatever apps I wanna throw on here. It's pretty much always changing. So right now I have Be Real and some other apps like PowerFlex and Vera. So Be Real, if you guys don't know, is a new social app where every day it sends you a notification to take a picture of whatever you're doing at that time. What I like about the app is that it's just a very stripped down experience. It's just your friends, which is really refreshing. So I like seeing what my friends are doing throughout the day. I just find that it's very raw and real. And then we have PowerFlex, which is the charging network that I use. So I actually charge at like this school nearby and they offer really cheap rates. So I just drive my car there, drop it off, and then uh, one wheel back to my apartment because I, I don't have a house to charge my Tesla, so don't laugh at me. And then Vera is my plant daddy app. So I have a bunch of plants and um, I like to think I take pretty good care of them. This app allows me to keep track of those plants. And yes, I do, I do name my plants. I know I'm not the only one out there that does that. So Fred, let's see. Fred started off looking like this can see some unhealthy leaves. I bought it on Facebook Marketplace for like 25 bucks. It was such a ripoff. Uh, and now it looks like this, a little more healthy, bigger. So yeah, that is Vera. And then we have 24 Go, which is the 24 hour fitness gym app. So I got a QR code and I go beep and they let me into the gym. You know what I've thought about doing is loading that beep sound onto my phone and just seeing like if they actually notice. I'll go up to the scanner and just play the sound, beep. Then we have the Find My app because I like to keep track of where my friends are at all times. Uh, what else do we have here? 
in my app library, if I go into food and drinks, you'll see an absurd amount of food related apps here. When it comes to food, if there's no coupon, if there's no discount, if I'm not taking advantage of a buy one, get one free, it's not a good deal. McDonald's, like look at McDonald's, you can buy one quarter pounder and get one for free, or you can choose a Big Mac or a 10 piece McNuggets. That, that's like a, a $5 savings right there, and, and that adds up, so yeah. As far as games go, man, I used to play so many games on my iPhone, and before I got my iPhone, I would download games on my dad's iPhone. Remember games like Jetpack Joyride, Fruit Ninja, Doodle Jump, and Crossy Road, and man, all these fond memories of playing iPhone games. But now I play Valorant. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that look into my iPhone 14 Pro. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like the video and consider subscribing for more tech content. Also make sure to check out Platin Audio if you're interested in upping your audio game. I'll have links down below. That said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.